All right, you know there are some crazy things that I'm willing to do, but today is definitely one of them. Out here in my cove, looks like it's uh, super, super calm, right? Well, out there in the main body of water, major white caps, 24 miles an hour winds. Um, but what I like about this wind is it's a, it's a day in which uh, we've had three days of the same wind. So I am curious, middle of the day, are they biting on the shores because it's pushed that bait fish up there? This is a strong wind. So we're gonna do something different. I don't know how good the audio is gonna be on this video, but uh, I'm gonna probably tuck you down, make you look up, and you're gonna see what I'm seeing. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. And I guess if it's not, we just won't make a video today, but we're gonna try it. Big time wind. I think we're gonna get back to, it's warm day here in December. We've got 60 degrees, which is crazy. But thanks for joining me, I appreciate you. Please subscribe. This one might be uh, kind of interesting, I think. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Folks, this is without a doubt the windiest day that I have fished in 2020, uh, 2021. Um, unbelievable what you're about to see. And I, I don't recommend it to everybody. I mean, certain lakes can withstand, can, can handle 21, 22 mile an hour winds. This lake can, you can still fish it, but uh, you know how dangerous it can get out there. And, uh, but I knew what I was doing. I'm very familiar with this lake, obviously, and I'm about to enjoy it big time in this episode. So here we go. All right, I'm trying to give you a picture of this because I know your audio is gonna suck. Right into this bank and that's why we're here i don't even know if my spot lock is going to keep up with it that's how that's how crazy this is but here it is i honestly don't know if it's doing it justice but what we're going to do is we're going to try to fish off the back of this boat and see because there's a bunch of crappie right here i know there are but we're just gonna we're gonna give it a shot <laughs> and uh, here, maybe you guys can see the get an appreciation for the waves right there, but you probably can't even get the appreciation for the waves that are going on right now. I mean, absolutely, it's taking everything in my boat to stay in this one spot. But I'm casting off here to the side, letting it drop to about five or six feet. Really warm in this cove right here. So it's roughly around 60 degree water temperatures because of how much water's being pushed into it. So totally different from the rest of the lake, which is interesting. is it's so windy I really can't use my side imaging like I normally would normally I would look for for a black specks a bunch of black specks white too but the black shows up better because it's a shadow uh, you'd look for a bunch of them and because we're, we're going up and down so drastically I can't even use my side imaging so I can see some structure I can see some white specks a little bit and that's pretty much what I'm throwing at right now
One of the cool things was during this trip, this eagle showed up and it constantly flew right above the boat. And it was just awesome to watch. I mean, I'm assuming that he was doing the same thing or she was doing the same thing I was doing. It knew that the bait fish had to be in this cove due to the wind and it was just looking for some prey. But it was really cool to see, it really, uh, I don't know. It made the day really special, to be honest with you. All right, I spared you guys the ride of the li your life across this lake today. Uh, we got we went and found some calm water because at the end of the day, uh, that's some serious wind. Had some waves coming over the front, and I was like, "That's enough. That's enough." But something I am going to do real quick is I'm going to use my side imaging, which I haven't used in a long time, uh, to be honest with you, on my own lake. But we're looking for these schools of fish, so this is what I do. I just I simply. I simply look at my side imaging. This is how we're gonna find them. Now, you could do it with your live scope, which is the way I typically would, but because of this wind and how high it is right now, I'm just wondering if, if we're wasting our time or not, so I'm gonna do it with side imaging. And we're in, right now, we're just looking for balls of uh, crappie, uh, and this is the quick way of doing it. So, bring my motor up here a little bit and do the scan. So for those that have watched three pound fishing for a while, you know this is how I used to find fish in the winter time. It's just a more efficient way of doing it. Um, it works really great. And uh, that's what we're doing today because I just, I guess I have a lot of hesitation on whether or not the fish will be in this cove. All right, there's a small school right there for sure. So that's off to the left and we're gonna try it out. That was freaking awesome. Windiest day of the year without a doubt. Thanks for joining, please subscribe. Be proud fishing, baby. Please subscribe, I really do appreciate you. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.